and hope you're having a great day so far because I'm about to ruin it with some more drama from our favorite ADHD queen, Gabby Hanna. Jesse Smiles' friend Jen Dent recently exposed everything that's been going on between her, Gabby, and Gabby's sister on her new podcast, But I Digress, with Jen Dent. On top of all that, we gotta talk about an update in Gabby's series that she posted. Buckle up, kids, because this one's going to be a big one. Before we get into the most recent events that have unfolded, I'm going to give you a little backstory as to who the people involved are and how we ended up here. Also, a quick trigger warning for people sensitive to topics such as SA because there will be a lot of discussions about that sort of stuff. So, we all know Jessie Smiles, who was SA'd by her ex-boyfriend, Curtis Lepore, and we all know Gabby, who sided with the boyfriend over Jesse. Well, Jesse has a friend, Jen Dent, who also got into a couple of times with Gabby over all the crappy things that she's done both to her and Jesse. For example, Gabby and her friends started a rumor without any proof, I must add, that Jen essayed a little kid. Here's Jesse's recollection of the story. A random guy from Australia decided to start tweeting Jen that she was a little girl. And Jen was literally like, what the are you talking about? But Gabby Hanna fans, because they hate Jen a lot, they decided to spread that rumor like wildfire. Gabby ended up addressing this in her Patreon, saying that she was aware of the allegations against Jen Dent, but everyone stay away from these people because they're very dangerous. And I just need to say this right now. There is no little girl. There is no victim that has come forward. It is a dude from Australia that when he was pressed for evidence, literally started trolling people and being like, oh, pee pee poo poo. There is no victim. So Jen was upset about that. That's why she was tweeting because Gabby's fans tried to get Jen fired. Anyways, after all of this, a new character joins the circus, Gabby's sister, Charissa. She gained notoriety when she spoke out about how Gabby's art in her first poetry book was stolen from her. It was a whole ordeal until she found out that Gabby actually had credited her in her second book, which is still slimy, but at least she did it. This is how Jen explains that situation. How would I know she started following me when this recent massive wave of Gabby bullshit happened this summer? You know, Teresa came from out of nowhere and all of a sudden she's talking about how she's the sister that Gabby stole the artwork from for her book, Adult Adolescence, and just is going on and on about how terrible Gabby is and how their whole family is dysfunctional and how they all fight and argue all the time. And, you know, we just kind of shoot the shit together every now and then. We've talked in DMs here and there. I'm the one that showed her that Gabby had actually credited her for her artwork later in Gabby's second book. Charissa didn't even know that. Um, I'm the one that showed her that. Here's the thing. As much as we all don't want to side with Gabby and want Charissa to be the hero of the situation, it's important to keep in mind that allegedly one of their other sisters spoke out about how Charissa has basically been disowned by the Hannah family because of her bad behavior. Two of Gabby's other sisters came out and spoke about Charissa's reputation within the family. But before I show you this next receipt, I have to remind you guys that Def Noodles' Twitter was banned recently, so a lot of receipts died with him. Like Monica Hanna's official statement about Charissa that she posted on Twitter that she seemed to have deleted. So far, we only have a few low-resolution screenshots of an alleged comment Monica left on a YouTube video saying, What's sad is the people in her inner circle actually don't talk to Charissa anymore. We don't speak out because she's family and family doesn't do that to each other. Love for family and siblings should come before all else. It's a shame some people can't just be happy for their own sibling's success. Just remember there is more than one side to a story and some people will do literally anything for attention and to bring someone else down. Now, this may be a fake account or it may be the real Monica. We are not sure. But there's a lot of other instances in which the sisters throw wild accusations against each other. For instance, Charissa and another sister, Cecilia, both accused each other of breaking stuff and basically abusing the family. So Charissa replied to Monica's claim by tweeting, so again, I was contacted by one of three adult enablers in the family. My sister isn't even allowed back at this house. Last, she threw a glass against a wall in a psychotic fit and they threw her out. I'm not going to stop until I get a public apology and recognition of my work. However, the other sister, Cecilia, said, Also, I'm being accused of cutting and bruising my mother and that is false and nowhere near okay. All of her accusations are admissions. 
also running around the house and breaking things, etc. She's just projecting everything she possibly can and accusing us of all things that she's done. So we don't really know who the good guy in the situation is, but considering what we know about the Hannah family, there may as well just not be a good guy in the story. Jen says that throughout her time following Teresa on Twitter, she kept seeing her get into fights with people just like her dear sister. Anyway, after a while, Teresa joins OnlyFans and Jen says she felt uncomfortable seeing Miss Blabby Hannah's sister's coochie all up in her business when she opened Twitter in public or at work or something. Now, this is the most recent timeline. Jen cordially tweeted, Okay, so I don't want to make any one of my friends mad, but with that being said, if you want to do OnlyFans, that is completely cool and you do you, but I gotta unfollow. I do not want to see your body parts. Maybe think about that. Do what you want, but I don't want to see your vagina. <laughs> she then unfollowed Charissa. She later found out Charissa had blocked her afterwards and started talking shit about her. Charissa was really pissed off, so she tweeted, Don't come at me when your shit looks like chip chopped ham thrown against the wall and nobody wants your ass. What? What the fuck? Twitter is an adult site. Unfollow and fucking deal with it. Nobody gives a fuck about your grand announcements. The targeted harassment has to stop. And again, thanks for the free press. Business is f booming. I have every right to unfollow or block the same as anyone else has the right to unfollow or block, so be mad. To which Jen replies by stating how Twitter is an adult site, but what you choose to consume on the site is your own choice. She shouldn't be forced to see your butthole every time she opens the app. Also, it's a site with adults on it, yes, but it's not an adult site, obviously. That's like saying Ikea is an adult store because mostly adults shop there. Like, technically, yeah, it's a place occupied by adults, but that doesn't mean there aren't any kids there. Jen really puts it best when she says... I know what's wrong with you, which is also what's a big part of what is wrong with your sister, is that neither of you can take rejection in any way, shape, or form, whether it be that someone does not want to be your friend anymore, they simply just don't want to talk to you anymore, they're not, you're not their type, or somebody says that they're not getting what they paid for on Patreon, they're paying your bills every month, Gabby, but they're not getting the content that they're supposed to be getting for what they're paying on Patreon, and now with you, Teresa, somebody doesn't want to see your vagina, so any form of rejection turns into this huge cluster of an ordeal and i'll never understand that but you two are just alike that's what's wrong that's a part of what's wrong honestly good for her for not holding back and telling the truth but back to the main topic which is that charissa blocked jen because she didn't want to see her junk all over her twitter but it only gets worse from here folks because charissa actually started to post nudes in which she photoshopped jen's face on her privates and her stories Many people, including Jen herself and Repsion, agree that this is a form of SA. Repsion tweeted, If you're photoshopping the faces of folks you don't like on your sex toys and private parts, that definitely qualifies as harassment in my book. No question there. Jen also explains how this has affected her as an SA survivor. The other morning when I woke up and Charissa had put my face on the pictures of her naked body. And I felt really gross and embarrassed and humiliated. I, and I'm embarrassed to admit that, but it's true. That's how I felt. I mean, I am a survivor and I still like when this happened, I didn't even say anything. Like I got ready and like went to work. This podcast was extremely raw and I command Jen for speaking out about her experiences. I recommend that you guys give it a listen yourself. But moving on from Jen's situation, Gabby uploaded a new video that helps us understand the struggles and inner turmoil of being a tone deaf superstar. <laughs> No, but seriously, she posted a singing video called Sorry I'm Late that has a whole essay in the description basically blaming a bunch of stuff on her ADHD as always. She also talks about how she'll keep doing the Godforsaken series, but this time she'll stay off the internet as the series continues. She then says anyone who doesn't like her series hasn't watched it, and here are some of the highlights. This series is and always has been about healing, so if it gets to a place where it's no longer serving that purpose, I'm not going to push myself in a direction that's hurting more than it's helping. This series is not about drama. It's about my life and processing trauma. Unfortunately, a lot of that does involve people who consistently 
constantly wrap me up in drama online, trust me, I hate it too. This series is my art. It's meant to be consumed in its entirety, not in bits and pieces. I created it so I could stop obsessing and for all the intents and purposes, it worked. <laughs> Did it actually though? I feel myself healing and moving on. I wanted to tell my side and never speak of it again and I failed at the beginning by engaging online. Surprise! I'm impulsive and defensive. I'm also a human. I found myself wanting to explain myself again and wanting to combat every new lie. Then I took a step back into the real world where I'm pretty happy and a chill person. Online, I'm a version of me that I really can't stand. Yeah, we can't either. Let's see how long Gabby can stay away from the internet. I also want to point out that her comments are still off, so I will go out of my way to tell you guys how people feel about this video because this really didn't sit well with people over on Twitter. One user says, to say in the description that people who disliked it didn't watch is not fair. People are allowed to watch and not be on your side. I hope you heal and better yourself. Mental illness doesn't excuse shitty behavior. I was a fan of yours and it's upsetting seeing what's happened. Another user says, don't post the rest of the series and get help. Let's not pretend your series was actually intended to shed light on mental illness or anything like that. We know it was entirely self-serving. You wanted to clear your name and it didn't work. You shouldn't have to drag others down and exploit their trauma in order to heal. So that's basically it, guys. I know it was a very heavy one and it was really frustrating to listen to Jen talk about all the different instances that Gabby and her loved ones tried to sabotage her life and career. Make sure to please go and support Jen through these hard times and give her some love if you can. Let me know what you think about the situation. Like, what the hell should we do with Gabby at this point? Also, knowing how Gabby's family feels about Charissa, do you think that Gabby should apologize to Jen as well as her sister, or do you think that this one doesn't involve her? And to end off the video, here's a little palette cleanser for you. I hope that this didn't completely ruin your day. If you liked this video and like to stay informed about the hottest tea out there, make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell so you'll know every time there's a new video. I post pretty much every single day. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this wild ride and have a great rest of your day.